All right. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're, we're ready? good. We're ready? All right, cool. Uh, how do you start one of these things? Well, <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm one of the editors at WTF Gamers Only. And uh, this is, I guess, the first of many video podcast things that I'm going to be doing for the website, uh, especially the YouTube channel. Um, I have a special guest for my first time helping me out with this. My good friend, Ernest. Ernest, say hello. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Ernest is a avid video game player, probably more than myself. A lot, uh, actually, I know that for a fact. I How many know, games you know, would just, you say that you have, man? Um, we don't have to give exact numbers, but just rough estimate. Probably closing in on around 700. Yeah! <laughs> High five for that! <laughs> That's awesome, man. What would you say your favorite console is out of the entire collection that you have and have the most games for? Um, Probably either... I think overall the Super Nintendo is my favorite. Yeah, let's see. Old Glory, huh? It's just the best all yeah. around, you know? Well, if you named five games you couldn't live without from Super Nintendo, what would it be? From Super Nintendo? Yeah. Well, definitely Castlevania 4, Super Mario World... Uh, Contra 3, mm -hmm. Earthbound, and the last one is tough. Um, we Little were uh, we were talking about like superpowers combining and stuff like that, and uh, you know now we're here finally. We talked about yeah. wanting to do this and sitting down and chopping it up and for a good man. And uh, yeah, it's finally cool to have you up here, man. And to to good looking out. Yeah, man. Um, one of the reasons why I called you over was to help me with this video because. I was having a hard time talking to myself about the Ouya, <laughs> and I figured it'd be easier to show somebody else and record it, and uh, other people can relate to the to the banter that we may have about the service and <laughs> yeah. what we like about it and what sucks or what's good, or, <laughs> you know. So it should make for an interesting uh, view for people. So uh, without further delay, uh, let's get to the bare bones of why we're doing this. Um, for those that don't know, the Ouya itself is an Android-based console um, that pretty much w blew up on Kickstarter. It uh, had quite the quite the uh, the following. Uh, it started off, you know, with like a lot of steam, but I guess once it came out, you know, the general perception was that it, it wasn't like too too much of a quality device. Right, because uh, because it is Android-based. Um, it's not it the hard mean, like the craftsmanship of it right the, the hardware itself the actual, yeah the hardware itself isn't really capable of you know playing those triple a caliber games that we, you would expect to see yeah on. plus i mean even at its best even if it was the most perfect device so mm -hmm. you have a perfect device that can play android games so what like if you could sit down and play a game why would you waste your time playing just an android game even a good android game right and also something that i've noticed being an ouya owner myself is that um, when they announced the unit, they announced that all these uh, fairly popular at the time apps would be available for it, like yeah. OnLive and YouTube, which is on there now as of like the last day or two, really, literally. Um, but that stuff was promised. And uh, just now, those apps are slowly starting to creep in, like more than a year later, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, um, that's ridiculous a year later. so it definitely hadn't lived up to its hype, but it is very developer friendly in terms of yeah, the indie games. Yeah, it's like an open, you know. Device. Yeah, it's very open sourced. Yeah. Um, but again, even still, so so you can make a really great Android right. game. That that's cool. But the whole, the biggest sell of that is the fact that it's mobile. Right. And once you take away the mobile functionality, like even if it's you know, perfect experience. Right, it is very small. It's about maybe a little bit bigger than the size of a of a Rubik's cube. Um, Even still, you still have to plug it into something. Right. I mean, when yeah, you have it, it only has an H. Right, it only has an HDMI phone. out, um, and it does support Wi-Fi built in and have a wired connection. I mean, uh, that's cool, you know. Still, yeah. but you still have to have like a a screen you'd have to attach it to, right. rather than just using your phone. It is a console, yeah. At the end of the day, you know, definitely. So. so Normally, that would um, that would persuade maybe gamers to not really 
consider it. Um, there have been certain Unless apps. You're really into them. You know? Yeah, there actually had been certain apps that have helped drive the popularity of the unit, uh, namely XBMC. XBMC is a. Uh, are you familiar with XBMC? Or no, what's, what's XBMC pretty much is an app that allows you to stream TV shows and movies. Hmm. I'm but not still, sure. Why if go through all that trouble? To I'm not sure if it's exactly legal. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would never, uh, obviously, for obvious professional reasons, never condone illegal bootlegging but um, you know, honestly illegal bootlegged stuff just doesn't feel the same to me <laughs> yeah it's even though so technically it is exactly the same just I don't know something is lost in that in that transition so as because of the uh, the advent of that program and people really dwelling into it it's been harder to find in certain locations selling out um, but it it hasn't really been s wowing a lot of people as a game system other than the few indie games that yeah, are on surprised. Steam as Right, uh, that are on Steam as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, now, um, it looks like that m they're trying to change that a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if th we're going to be seeing more of this. It seems like it's kind of going that route, and I'll show how, yeah. and uh, how that may be implemented in, in a subscription. Um, we'll, get to, we'll get to that in a second. Um, basically... Uh, this company called Playcast has, uh, see, uh, we can see on the screen right there under my favorites, uh, Playcast is now offering cloud gaming for the the Ouya and probably other units mm. as well, like mobile tablets and, you know, computers. And it's interesting because now it seems like the Ouya might be in a position where, hey, for people who can't afford to drop, you know, 200 still on an Xbox. The Xbox still goes for 200, 250, you know, for yeah. 100 bucks or maybe, you know, 70 bucks. Sometimes these go on sale for 70 bucks at Target, you know, when they're trying yeah. to clear their stock. Yeah, that's this might cool. be you know, this might be, cool. you know, this might be a decent alternative depending on where they take this and how it much is. they offer it for. <laughs> You know what I mean? It is, but still, it's like, man, I would just the controller itself. I'm gonna let you hold and play yeah, some of this yeah, for a little bit while while we talk about this. All so right. this is gonna be all Ernest playing oh, from this shit. point forward. So he's gonna uh, these are gonna be his first reactions to the Ouya mm -hmm. itself because he's never played one of these before, I believe. Right. right? That's correct. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna hand over the controller right. and uh, let you get a feel for it right away. You feel that it's cheap. Well, it feels third party ish, but you know. It feels cheap. So okay, let me show you that that where the thumbsticks yeah. are, the pan the surrounding silver panels mm -hmm. come off. And that's where the batteries lie. What? Yeah, go ahead and take it off. Look. The people who are watching this can't look, but that's yeah, but, but it, the panels yeah, it literally come right just off. kinda pops off and And then you just pop it right back on and it's <laughs> And it stays. Oh, no, and it even feel like it doesn't even feel secure when you put it back on. It just, it's just boom. Yeah, it just kind of snaps. You kind of you kind of feel it all over just to make sure that it's on. Yeah. You, you hear no click or nothing, but um, those triggers, man, dear lord. Dear oh, lord. Yeah, yeah, these are definitely the worst triggers. Yeah, I've ever definitely found. the worst triggers ever. Yeah. So um, so the uh, much bumpers like are they're they're suitably clicky clickety, but no, dude, those analog. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger's no good. <laughs> so so go ahead and uh, press the Ouya button, which is the centerpiece right there. This uh, upward area right here, this all black yeah. area on top of the Ouya button, mm -hmm. is actually a touchpad. That's cool. R as of right now, uh, Lego Batman and Splinter Cell are free. The entire game. That's cool. Right. So right now, it's just a trial. And... Uh, it requires a hardline connection. What do you mean? Meaning you could download the app wirelessly, but to play it, you need to be wired to your internet connection. Really? No Wi-Fi? No Wi-Fi for this particular Playcast app. Well, it is free. For now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a hard sell later. Okay, so another thing that's cool about Playcast is that it uh, configures itself to be a console. So right
right now it knows that you're using a VR controller. And it maps the game out, particularly particularly to that controller. And on top it shows you how strong your connection is in the top right corner and tells you the quality of that is uh, feeding the image through. Which right now is at 720. Uh, I guess I'll just go, do... go ahead and use spot two, yeah. of billionaire industrialists so are I in have for a treat tonight as frontrunners Bruce Wayne tends to be a little bit of lag face off at the annual man of the year mm. between the sound effects. I wonder if that's yes, the game or the controller. I wonder if that's the stream. Versus oh, some bald likely, guy yeah. from Metropolis. Here at Gotham City News, we're rooting for the home team. Go Bruce! Yeah, they have the other Lego Batman games or Lego Oh, I have Lego Star Wars. You have the complete? Yeah. Oh, dude. It took me a while. I tracked it. I had to track it. Have you played it yet? Yeah, yeah I played all the way through. Oh, you played it? Okay. The non version. I have it too. Nice. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah, I did. And it's the only LEGO game that supports online multiplayer. Really? Yeah. The other ones don't support nope. online multiplayer? Lex. I'm surprised like you took time away from your presidential campaign you and come so. all the yeah. way to but Gotham City for this. How is that oh dear lady, as a nominee, it's I don't know, I guess somebody like <laughs> was working there at the Especially time and was like, yeah, we need to have that. <laughs> then like, someone hated and on now, afterwards or something. And now, ladies and gentlemen, like, yeah. should, the moment should, you've all been waiting all for, games, but this year's Man of the Year award goes to... Yeah, the best Bruce Wayne. I mean, I want to check out next year. Oh yeah, so do I. Yeah, but other than that, I don't know. Despise like the thing was, the I played a little bit of the uh, the first Batman one, and uh, <laughs> okay. I had some frame rate issues. I was really surprised. Yeah. I was like, uh, this is supposed to be a nice, solid, constant 60 frames per second engine. Who has been there for you? One man who has made it his mission to improve the lives of people around him. He has remodeled our buildings. Helped keep our banks free of unnecessary clutter. <laughs> now, I'm looking, actually looking forward to it, not just because... Um, you have always shown your appreciation for like Batman. Uh, Friday the 13th, and Jason Todd in space. Yeah, but like Batman it. in space is kind of cool. And why stop Could now? Yeah. Flying with Superman. Mm -hmm. They keep that in space. <laughs> 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 Standing ovation. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of team like that, but I'll really, take it. Like, and also, everything else. Propaganda going around. Yeah. Riddle me this. What's green? And found in your wallet. Uh, money. Um, no, not anymore. <laughs> Sorry to rain on your parade, my dear. <laughs> Thanks so much. Is that Mark Hamill? No thanks. No. I don't want to get joy buzzed. But that's... Oh, don't uh, worry! I didn't want to shake hands! Yeah, sure. I Clancy want Brown. your watch. I think that's his name. The dude that... Uh, nice running Lex into you! In Let's do it again oh, sometime! Sometime. Oh, we will. What a night! Such an honor! Words fail me! Yeah, what are the I'm Superman villains are they? <laughs> are they <laughs> Superman villains? Ah, who am I kidding? Yeah. When uh, am I ever speechless? Brainiac, and Kylo. what a thrill to finally uh, see myself on the side. big screen! Well, Look at that face! It's like, Doomsday. what's he gonna say? What's going to come oh, out of that go. mouth of his? Huh? Come on, come on. Well, Except for Doomsday. Sorry to wipe yeah. that grin off your they face, make, Joker. Uh, well, You're not yeah, sorry. Those ones, those You're not sorry at all. Really long time, but yeah, but like they're like were... the lesser played ones. <laughs> Come and yeah, get me. Like... <laughs> yeah, well, they, they only use like Luger and General Zod. In the yeah, movies, you know what I mean. Yeah. So like, 
I think it's no pet if Superman's gonna fight back. Yeah. Kill it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell are you doing? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Dude, oh, don't want to be sad. Alright. It's kind of fucking around. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, yeah, we're only gonna do a demonstration. So it does. It's pretty framey. Yeah. Yeah, and the sound is off. Yeah, the sound is off. That's why I was staring at too, is that it confirms uh, that the sound is off. Really. That makes it virtually. Yeah, it's kind of hard to like. It's almost like a like that. Right. It goes back to my whole point of like, it's so gonna this, be like that, why even bother at all? Well, that's good that this is particularly free because they can like troubleshoot for people. I wouldn't even waste my time playing. <laughs> <That's the point. laughs> even if it has sound off? Oh, you have to create the stairs, go see, right? You know, I'd rather like. Honestly, it's cool, but like, I'd, I'd rather play like an old Super Nintendo or Genesis Nintendo. I'd rather play Super Rage 2. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and this uh, this is cool still, but I mean yeah, and I and that's just you know most people have been using the VR more is you stay away from Mr. J. You do this on your phone, right? For playcast, um, it's cool. I mean, like if you're on a budget, you rather I guess yeah, that's the thing too. It's like if you're gonna spend. To might as well just keep saving that money. Yeah, you might as well just save them. Yeah. Like, yeah, this does get the job done technically, but goddamn. It's really rudimentary. Yeah, and then, like, it's not even like. I'd rather buy the game digitally, to be honest with you, than having to, like. Like, maybe if I had a service that. Uh, do you want to want some oh, you gotta hold A? Oh, <laughs> But see, that's the thing with the gooey eyes, too. Uh, yeah, you hold that and point it at her. One more thing, sir. She's gonna flip around to the other side. She's gonna hit her again, and then she's gonna go. <laughs> One more thing, sir. <laughs> That's, that's bullshit. Dude. One more yeah, thing, sir. Can't. If you're good enough, you should be able to get off a couple of hits. Probably put us cool. Pardon me, sir. Yeah, totally. <laughs> He's awesome in fucking Arkham Asylum. Sweet. So, you get the hang of it. This is, you know, Lego Batman. Same old, same old. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, let's yeah, that's the thing too. The controller spells Ouya, so so it's kind of like uh, instead of just having X B Y, you know, it's kind of like uh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us like when you're hitting something you're actually properly making contact with Yeah, or if it's breakable. Yeah, it's breakable. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
One more thing, sir. I was thinking, it's hard to tell. What the hell did I just do? It's just because it's framing. Yeah. Frame <laughs> it's just because it's framing. Yeah, frame rate's too low. This is 60 frames per second. Yeah, it is. And here it's like less than 30. Maybe it's 30. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy, like, if there's any need for a clear indication of why, you know, social gaming is not totally legit. Like, almost unplayable, but it is. So, like, no sound, dude. Yeah, there's no impact from destroying <laughs> I think you just grapple on and he'll get on the other one automatically. Oh, okay. No, the other one's to, uh, to your left. Yeah, those. One more thing, sir. Riddler's hiding in the wall right there. So you gotta break the wall open right there. And kick oh, right his there? Ass. Yeah, and kick his ass. See, press. where it says press U? Yeah. Press U. Oh, which one is U? X. So now I want to show you Splinter Cell. Now All you right. got the general, harvest, uh, gen general hang of it. So go ahead and double tap the Ouya button. And go to exit game. 
Okay, now go ahead and go to my play. So the other free game that's available uh, for for the moment is uh, Splinter Cell. People uh, love their Splinter Cell, man. Yeah. So that was like, wow, Splinter Cell. That's a that's a solid game. Mm. So you like stealth? I do. Um, you know, ever since Metal Gear, I've been a big fan of stealth. <laughs> you know, I'm a big yeah, Metal Gear dude. net too. So yeah, to are. me, it was just like another evolution of stealth. Yeah. It didn't have like the story that Metal Gear has, but I think the stealth, some of the stealth elements, is a, uh, is a little bit deeper at times. Probably, I'd expect it to be. It's probably like, seems like it's more realistic. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, so yeah. So this is the other free demo, uh, slash full game. Not, I mean, it's it's if you go under trials or betas in the uh, in the in the discover category or yeah. the discover option, I should say, um, it's there. But um, yeah, I wonder. How long these are going to be free for, or if they're going to start charging money for them? Because when we get to Batman, they probably won't let us play that. But you can see, kind of like the model, I think they're trying to go for, and I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Continue the story. Yeah, go ahead. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. Uh, yeah, Sam Fisher, you know oh. dead. Shit. Nice. nice. America is he here? Him, no, 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 no. He's make been, uh, one sacrifice too many. Yeah, he's cross, been really hitting, hitting school pretty hard. That's good. Far. Yeah, it's good, you know, but uh We're gonna have to get Nick on a future anonymous one of these yeah, yeah, in the future. Ran down his yeah, that's dashed. a guy who Yeah, he really knows. We gotta get on this. Yeah, that guy knows shit, man. If not for him, I wouldn't have the video card that Outputs to my set him TV. up. Oh, turn yeah, because yeah, he gave me that video card. I told him to pull the cool. trigger on my best like, friend. Yeah, and yeah. New York City it lets me basement. play Left 4 Dead. Yeah, you do love your Left 4 Dead. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so that's cool. A lot of people love that. So Plus, it has Sam. zombie clowns. That's very Yeah, shit yeah. They are so pretty left. fucking terrifying. Especially yes. when there's a horde of them. Left the yeah. echelon, left the life you knew. Left America, mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid Quarters and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Playing Left for Dead and shit. Eventually, yeah, our buddy found. Porter is, uh... Avid caught a whisper dead in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. I see those three dots, red dots, he all the time. He heard a <laughs> found somewhere to go looking. A city. Called Valletta. There's no stopping what can't be stopped. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes. Phone call for you. Please accept this. No Don't killing what can't be killed. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good too, sorry. <laughs> Dude, I love love. Sam. <laughs> Who is yeah. this? Yeah, see, find me. Graphics are pretty nice, man. Yeah, they actually. Price, Sam. You know what? Don't Small. tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. I actually uh, am semi impressed yeah. with. What do you want? The quality, there are just certain things that there, they need to fix before they start offering it at a price. Like, like, like the potential is there. Exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. Do general basic things like I'm not doing a damn thing right? until you tell me yeah. how you they found me. Even, you know, That's important. Third echelon, we've got an eye on everyone. You know, that's very important. It's Look practically up. essential. It. Yeah, because if your sound is off by a couple seconds, that's a difference from. You know, yeah. living and dying in some games. The whole point of games is gameplay. Come is that on, you Sam. play them. It's starting to I see it. Then I can take it back. And especially an old gamer like me, never. like you're used to like. You still haven't told me you know, how you found me. Hundred percent accurate controls at the oh, yeah. very least. Even if it's the shittiest game ever, at least on some capacity, the screen movement the shifts you know, at sixty frames a second. I mean, it's like the old days, huh, Grim? You know, the controller response. Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. I remember right this game was in development for a really long time. So get to that group of like right now nearly three I can't years. Help you, Sam. And in a lot of the shots, they had Sam uh, in like a 
trench coat and like a hoodie and like all bearded out, you know? Yeah. And then like they had that for so long and then like a year before the game came out, they scrapped all that design for it and just went like this look. The Abercrombie and Fitch look. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Like Make it there, Bring and I might be able to help you out. I'm Put there. The arm, huh? Hang on. You think I'm tapping that? into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload yeah. the transformers Get near you and blow out those lights. Up down here now. All right. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. That's Michael Ironside. I uh, could go uh, to sleep with the light on. Wow. That's his name, right? Michael Ironside? Yeah, Michael Ironside. He's done the voice for Sam Fisher for all the games. No shit, really? Yeah. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Think that's enough? Come here, I'll show you what's enough. So you hold L2 to you. aim, <sighs> and then R2 is to shoot. Jesus Christ, shit! <laughs> And you can click in uh, R3, the stick, to zoom in. Fuck. Come on, show yourself, fucker! Come on, show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? Yeah, I might shit. The yeah, you picked it, asshole. Yeah, you yeah. should. We'd get a couple of thousand. I have it downloaded this shit we could fence because it was on here. sale for like five bucks. The lady that lives here is yeah. hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. <laughs> oh shit. So now you're in an execute move. So press. So you'll press Y. Or yeah, Y on the Ouya to execute it. And then you highlight with R1. So you move the cursor and press R1, and then you move it on to the other one, and it does, goes bam, bam, and then press Y to execute. Damn. Yeah. It's cool. That's tight. How do you do that again? Now? Okay, so normally after like a hand-to-hand -hand attack, oh, or hand when you build up enough experience, what did yeah. you do it'll prompt Sir, baby, don't the ability to execute. Sam? It'll walk you through it again. Sam, what are you time doing, Daddy? What are you doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Desert Eagle. Oh, shit, well, which gun is better? Uh, I, I don't know. I think the other one has a silencer on it. Yeah, plug in with a silencer. Oh, 
kills on this one. Coven. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money's good. He's a punk. Granko should be running. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Take that cover right there. And then the guy in the blue closest to you is going to walk towards you. You see anything? Yeah, yeah just wait in that cover and help the guy. Shh. That guy will walk past you. This fisher guy's smart. He snap his neck. Probably ran out the back. What the? Over there! Over there! Oh, you oh, shit, man! Let him you supposed to snap his Let him have it! Over here! Oh, get killed by the blue. <laughs> That's cool. I want to snap his neck. Let him have it! <laughs> You'll have that guy right there. Hey, you can't kill him yet. Don't kill those other guys. It'll be worth it. Gotta reload, guys! Gotta kill him! Damn, how many shots did it take? A thousand bucks for the guy who kills Fisher. Alright, just get closer to him. You don't have to. You don't have to have yeah, you, yeah, you can't kill him. There you go. Take him down! I'm out of here. All right, follow him. Anybody no, else? Way. That door right there, that hallway. Him? Yeah. There you go. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Say. <laughs> okay, enough. All right, tilt the controller. You want to send yeah, me? you can see the bit there. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <laughs> Runs drugs, kind of guns, cool. yeah. anything people Very want, good. he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. Go ahead and take him to the sink now. He's crazy. Ah! <laughs> 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 Drove the car Take it to the stalls daughter. right there. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you yeah, killed him. Those wooden, you uh, should doors refund right his there. money. Yeah. Where do I find him? Right you don't understand. Uh, huh? In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. So, on Batman. huh? Curious on Batman. We can ent we're going to throw that in real quick, but it's not going to let us play all of it yeah. because the intro to Batman Arkham Asylum yeah. is 15 minutes before there's actual Oh shit. real real gameplay. Yeah. And the ch the, the the time trailer or the demo, I'm sorry. The time demo is only about 10 minutes. So in the very beginning, you're literally walking the Joker through Arkham Asylum to yeah, his cell. For a while. And yeah, so there's no actual gameplay. So for a first game to do that, say, okay, this is going to be the method of that we're going to, this is going to be the payment options and whatnot. Yeah. This is, uh, that's what they chose. So let's fire it up, see if it lets us do an extended playthrough real quick. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple extra minutes, and then we'll wrap this up. <clears throat> and so this also, uh, like we had mentioned earlier, um, is a 
paid game. It's not free. So the first ten minutes are free, and then if you want to continue playing, you could rent, rent it. it. Yeah, you gotta rent it for five bucks, and five dollars allows thirty days. Now at that point, I'd rather just buy the Xbox version or buy it on Steam. Yeah, buy it on. Yeah, if you're gonna do all this, you might as well just play the game on right, Steam. Right. So see, the demo is only gonna allow us to play a minute and a half. I guess that's one of the biggest problems with the Uya. And so I have to touch the the touchpad to start it. So now this is playing off the games for Windows. Ver this is porting the games for Windows version because you can hear the Xbox click. Right. And then you'll see the Xbox Live option. So let's run this real quick, as quick as we can, yeah. before we run out of time. And I'll skip the little quick cinematic in the beginning. That's Warden Shop to you. It's basically just to show off the ghost. Yeah. 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 Yo, Frankie, how's the wife and nice, kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown. <gasps> a lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, it's surprisingly <laughs> smooth. <laughs> considering really? that's because there's no gameplay. Like, like, moving around yeah. and stuff. Then. In the quality, the audio, yeah. the, the, not so yeah, tight, boys. You'll crease the, the suit. Sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get that filthy degenerate out of here, Warden. Something's not right. I'm going with him. <laughs> Is Commissioner Gordon here? Yes, sir. He's uh, waiting for you down at patient handle. That happened. Got here just before you did. And then, just to show what happens. Shabby loves really his cap. Now, and it confirms the purchase. And there it is for validation. Uh, it's four ninety nine to purchase. Purchase. <laughs> you are about to purchase Batman. Batman. This purchase uh, entitles you to play the game for a duration of thirty days. Once that thirty man, days is over, it turns back bullshit, to a trial. Dude. This is ridiculous. Right. So at that point, I mean, Batman uh, Arkham Asylum does not take that long to beat. You yeah, but there's there's no reason to do this. Yeah. Like, I, if I'm going to, I'd rather there be a bulk uh, service where for 15, 20 bucks a month, I can have access to over 100 games. At like least on that. live. Even you know, still, dude. Or PlayStation Now is going to be something dude, very similar you where... You get Arkham Asylum for like 10 bucks and right. it forever. And it was just on sale version. on the Xbox Live Marketplace yeah, for I like mean, 5 bucks the other... Like, not even 3 some odd weeks ago. For a much more playable, better version, likely. Right. So we're not going to buy this, obviously. No, cause <laughs> we're not the best thing about this uh, Uya thing is that... Uh, the best thing about the... want to play Splinter Cell. <laughs> It made you want to play Splinter Cell. Yeah. The best thing about Ouya in general is the fact that you can play emulators. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to that today. Maybe mm. we can do another show in the future with yeah. Nick, because that would be awesome. Oh, to have him yeah. On board. yeah. He, <laughs> just, shit yeah. will get real with Nick on board. Yeah, yeah. Um, he doesn't hold back. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, Nick doesn't hold back. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think we're going to conclude this. Um. Do you have any final thoughts that you wanted to express about what it's a you fun just little saw? Thing, you know, it's a cute little little unit, but now this uh, this is just the Playcast app itself on the unit. We have we're gonna dive deeper into what the unit can offer in itself. This is not the best display of what the unit. Oh, as far with. as the game, dude, I would say like if the if they could sync up the sound perfectly, and uh, you know maybe. If because of the sound, I can't really quite tell how spotty the controls are, but for the most part, if they could tighten up those two things, it would be pretty cool. And that's Aside from the fucking whole rental thing for five bucks. Right, that blows. Yeah, um, yeah I, don't, I don't want each game to do that. That would suck. That would be too many games to keep track of. 
Um, It'd be absurd. It's and what you said too, you know, t- you know, the other thing you touched on was really important. Because the audio is off, it feels like the controls are off. Like yeah. you can't tell if you're connecting <laughs> yeah, to exactly. combos or if you're swinging in that air. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, the fact yeah. that the controller lacks vibration mm, also. Not used to no Yeah, rumble, so then yeah. you really have to depend on the sound. Yeah. And if it's going to be off even by a millisecond, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the difference between knowing if I got my hit connect right. or if that was my problem or, or yeah. Or if I'm, di- I'm about to die and they're going to, you know, counter that hit, you know what I mean? Like yeah. all those things come into play. Sound yeah, is true a big, precision. Sound is a big deal. And even we're just playing Lego Batman, right? Or um, so I keep saying Lego Batman. Oh, we're just playing oh. Arkham Asylum yeah. and, you know, again, the audio was slightly off. Yeah, and the visuals look great. The visual looks are. great, but the audio cool. is the one thing that's probably holding it back. It's great that it's an option. It still has a long way to go. Yeah. Um, I would like to see a service like On Live, legitimately on the 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 device, rather than a side route mod. Yeah, that's um, great. I think that that would run smoother on the Ouya because they've had more experience with, you know, I've never heard of Playcast well, prior to the this. The problem is, is companies, you know, willing to invest money into developing, like, uh, patches or developing research into, you know, making the games run better on the Ouya, depending on how, how big profit margin is going to be. And that goes into your installed user base, you know. Yeah. I don't know if it, how it's been selling. That will determine everything. I think they're selling pretty averagely. They're starting to disappear more from stores, but I think that's just because people are becoming aware of XBMC and the fact that you can download ROMs on it. Yeah. I think those are the two selling points of the unit, the big you know, pushing points. Because anybody, because now they have YouTube, they have Vimeo or uh, Vimeo or you know yeah. the other app. Um, and but VLC all, player, but I could do all that stuff from my PC. Exactly. You know, I mean, or other devices that function a lot smoother. Yeah, um, and it all comes down to it, like, again, why I have so many other great games to play. Like, I don't have time to play mediocre, you know, subpar quality, you know, works. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, it's like somebody's, uh, you know, it's like uncompleted or something. It's just right. Yeah, it feels half out. A- and that's cool, it, but I don't have time for that. You know? <laughs> right. If you're going to be spending the five bucks, uh, you want to make sure that everything is on point. You're not going to pay five bucks to participate. In not a trial. just paying five bucks, but spending my time to to play it. Yeah. I'm going to spend my free time playing something that's just better put together, more playable, just more accurate, just you know, like has some some level of standard. The sound is off. It's like renders it practically unplayable. Right. That's a, a sound. Sound is a big part it's just of a basic. any form even, of any t- you can't entertainment. Even iron out that basic, then mm-hmm. it's just like you know, the project is for the most part doomed from the start. You might as well just keep it on the drawing board until you know everything else can catch up. A lot of promise, definitely, but <coughs> the sound is is a major key point. That sound that they gotta get. I've like, I only yeah, games don't do that. I've never really experienced something like that. Yeah, that lag was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> the audio they lag go, was okay, really so bad. It sounds like a little off, but it's not just a little off. Lego it's Batman everything. was the worst. Yeah, that was just. You're just hitting stuff, and you just you don't it doesn't even feel like anything's happening until like a second later you yeah. hear the explosion or and by or then the punch uh, the punch sound. The satisfaction you know? is gone. You know, I need that instant, immediate, you know, gratification. So. You're an Ouya owner, theoretically. Mm. Okay. Play cast. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, man, that's tough because they, they do some things really well. The graphics are are good. But overall, it's just a thumbs down. I'm sorry because of that sound shit. Like, the sound kills it. It's unacceptable. Even though everything, a lot of those factors are really good. That sound makes the whole thing unacceptable. I think I'm going to give it a Zangi style thumbs sideways. I could, I, <laughs> yeah, I because could thumbs sideways it too, but slightly down if anything. Yeah, because for me, for while me. I appreciate the effort. Yeah, yeah. The and there are some accomplishments. Based on, it. yeah, and, and, and it seems like they're on the right path. Yeah, um, sure, I guess. But the business model. The um, the purchasing model, I should say, 
uh, based on Batman, if any indication is no go, yeah. especially if they can't get that sound on point. Yeah, uh, it's that's almost an embarrassment to the yeah, game itself. Definitely. Well, uh, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I want to thank everybody who spent the time to watch us uh, jibber jabber about video games and other random yeah, nonsense. Sorry for my bullshit gaming, but you know, <laughs> I, I, you know I, I. No, it's great. It was great. It made for a great video. Yeah. I'm gonna chop it up. It's gonna look smooth. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, Ernest, yeah. thanks again, man, for yeah, coming through, man. Out, I really man. appreciate you coming through. No, we got to do this again it. sometime. Definitely. Do. Uh, with more people, Nick, I got another headset, too, up to three, so we could do three people. Yeah, do like a round table, you know, like a Oh, round yeah, table I got the round table there, too, <laughs> That's so right. we, can get, we can get that popping. Dude, thanks. Really, I, I, I truly appreciate you coming to help me with this first one because this first video I was having a hard time with, and I just felt all sorts of uncomfortable, and you could really hear it. Mm. on the uh, on the video i had to delete it right now before we started oh, this because i was just so embarrassed and i was just like you know what it's not working i can't <laughs> i can't talk to myself yet you know what i mean yeah so yeah um i guess that you need a little bit more of a script real quick Ernest. yeah um do you have any um social network outlets or anything that you want to promote that people can follow you at um, if I were to promote anything, it'd probably be, uh, you know, the gaming addiction. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> 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 Ernest, yeah, <pretty> much. Yeah. <laughs> Ernest is promoting my personal blog. So thank you very yeah. much, Ernest. Yeah. High five to that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you do know, you have a Twitter handle that you want to? Um, sure. You know, you can find me on uh, Emperor Ernest or, you know, Emperor underscore Ernest sometimes, I guess. Um, Sweet. Whatever, you know, Xbox, uh, Twitter. Yeah. Under Emperor Ernest? Okay, Emperor Ernest, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks again for coming, and thanks for everybody for watching us uh, play through this uh, Playcast uh, app on the Ouya. My name is Jason. I'm an editor over at WTF Gamers Only. You could find me at WTFGamersOnly.com or at my personal blog at TheGamingAddiction.com. You could find me on social media at Moses, I-V-V-I-O-C, and my voice just cracked when I said that. OC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I always reminds me of uh, that fool from Final Fantasy IX. Which one? The little fucking Orko from He Man looking fool. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Vivi. Reminds me of Vivi and shit. <laughs> this is IVVI, Vivi. This is IVVI. Sounds like Vivi. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like it too. It throws people off. It they always ask like me, it. is that Roman numerals or something? <laughs> Part of the name is the but mystery. But it's really cool because it's. It's wholly unique. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what it is when we go off here. I'll leave people. <laughs> it's part of the mystery. No, it's me, like it. Know? Yeah, I get those. But, okay, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks All for right. watching, you guys. And uh, hopefully a second episode will be in the works shortly. So uh, yeah, on it. keep you guys uh, detailed good on that. Night. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>